Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. So I am not going to be blonde for much longer. Um, as soon as I start dyeing my hair, I'm probably not gonna be blonde for at least a year. And I kind of want to, you know, memorize it <laughs> in just one last video. And also so many of you guys asked me how I bleach my roots. Um, it's not something that special, but I am doing some um, methods or stuff to it that won't damage it as much. And that is why my hair is so long and strong, even though I do so much to it all the time. Also, I can refer to this video back when you guys ask how I fix my roots um, throughout the year now. I just wanna make one last video this is how I do it because this is now how I'm gonna do it like forever. I feel like I've really gotten down the best best way to bleach your roots without that much damage. So yeah, that's this video and let's just get started. First of all, uh, I gotta show you guys how the hair is looking right now. It is very very dirty. <laughs> But it is just so pretty. I am so cute as a blonde. I gotta say <laughs> that yeah, my hair is very long now. Um, here's my belly button, <laughs> if you want to know like exactly. And here's my nipples. So yeah. <laughs> and this is how it looks in the back. Pretty long and cute. Um, but something that is not that cute is my roots. Roots when I have blonde hair is actually not that um, annoying for me. I hate having roots when I have colored hair. It looks horrible in my opinion, but as I am a natural blonde, um, it might look quite dark, but I'm actually not that dark naturally. It just looks like that in comparison to the like white-ish color. So we have like two centimeters of the roots going on right now. And I'm going to show you guys the absolutely best way to fix that. I gotta say before um, I talk about the peroxide, I am a natural blonde, as I said, so I've realized that I do not need to use more than 10 volume. 10 volume is very, very gentle. I actually think that a lot of you guys that use a very high volume don't need it that much. You just want it to go quick. But with the 10 volume, it's great uh, for like a, I don't know, levels. But you know, if you are like a blonde, dark blonde, maybe lightish brown if you have really really dark hair like black or brown black maybe you would need a 20 volume or 30 volume but 10 volume works perfect for me so for those of you that have seen my bleach videos before i've used a bunch of weird different methods but now i only use these two products so the 10 volume three percent peroxide um, developer from Fanola. This is cruelty free, loving this one. And then I am using the also from Fanola, cruelty free, um, no jello color, no jello ultra lightener. This one. And they are so good together. It's so gentle that I don't even go in with uh, Olaplex like I used to before. Why I used Olaplex before was because I only used box bleach. And in those, they're like always 30 volume and I do not need 30 volume. Step number one is to have dirty hair as oily as possible, at least when it comes to natural oils. Um, I don't think that you should have like dry shampoo and stuff like that in your hair, but also I have that <laughs> and I don't notice a huge difference, but maybe you can notice a little bit of a i don't really know i feel like bleach is like bleaches through literally everything um but as oily as possible because it will help your scalp not uh i get affected and uh, hurt as much and then step two is of course to 
brush your hair through. And then you mix one part bleach, two parts developer. This is something that I didn't understand what that really meant before. But if you add one cup of the bleach, you add two cups of the developer. Pretty easy, am I right? And I think I'm gonna go for two uh, scoops of the bleach. One and a half. <coughs> one and a half parts bleach. One, two, and three. And that is a double the bleach that we have. And then we mix this together until there's no like clumps or anything in it. Also, as this has a hue of purple, it will actually help with the yellow tones. But your hair can still get a little bit yellow. But for that, I just go in with a little bit of purple or blue shampoo or silver shampoo, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> There's so many different names for that. And there we have it. And then lastly, before we start, we got to change into a uh, t-shirt of some sort that you are not scared to ruin. Protect your hands from bleach and wear gloves, please. Grab a drink if needed. I'm gonna put on my fan, unfortunately. Hope it's not too annoying, but like it is so freaking warm right now, which I love, but also <laughs> I need a fan. Um, and now let's get started, finally. One thing that you should know when handling bleach is that bleach processes faster when it's warm, warm, <laughs> warm. So uh, your head like up here will be warmer, but also if you add a bunch of bleach underneath here and then let your hair sit over it, it will make it very, very warm. So you should try and maybe this will just be confusing, but you should try and not start with a very warm place. With that said, I'm still going to start from the back because that's just what I do. But I will try and like keep my hair up and not put my hair down as much so it won't develop super fast. All right. I don't know if that made sense, but yeah. I'm just gonna take my fingers and get a little section and like that. Sometimes I can check if it looks good and it does look kind of good. You guys know I'm not <laughs> that picky about this whole thing. And then something that I just learned that I thought was very good to know also is that you should clean your brush when you get bleached like on top of the brush right here. You should only have it on the bristles because that way you won't uh, accidentally put bleach on uh, places that don't need bleach. I take a little bit of bleach like this and then, see, there we go. I go in only on the bleach parts. Sometimes I like feather it up if I can see that I am a little bit darker somewhere. Like you guys can see that I am quite dark right here. Uh, so I can feather that up. There we go. And then I also take down here. So there we have that section. Then I'm actually going to skip doing here in the back. I'm going to do that absolute last. I always do the uh, parts around my actual like face and skin, if that makes sense. Absolute last. I'm going to take this down again and make another section. So there we have another section. I'm just going to go ahead here, down and up here. 
and you guys can see as well right here I'm quite dark so I can actually just feather that up a little bit the best way would be to do it um, after the roots have processed for maybe like 15 minutes but I'm uh, just lazy <laughs> so yeah another section and I do the exact same thing and don't be scared of using a lot of bleach it's much better to use a lot of it than uh, not using enough there we have that And there we go the hard part is done now I let down the hair I part it in the middle so like that and now I can just work with one side at a time I'm gonna take a little clip like this and just put my hair up a little bit like that so it doesn't lay uh, on my neck and it won't develop as quickly but now when I can actually see this is gonna be quick so the last thing in the back is to do let's see if we can do this this little part this little section here just gonna make sure that that is looking perfect Then I just section this part in the back and I already know that the piece here in the back is coated. So I'm just gonna put the bleach on it like this. Do a little section there as well. Put bleach there. And now I can actually see what I'm doing, so then this will be a lot quicker than the back part. So now when I only have this part left, I am actually going to start from the top. And you shouldn't start from the top, as I said, because it is as warm, or this is the warmest place. Uh, it will develop a lot faster but now when I only have the front pieces left I can do this very quickly so it doesn't really mind or doesn't really matter <laughs> put bleach here put bleach here on the other side as well then I'm gonna make a little section Put that to the side and do this side again. Coat this side. Another section. Coat this one. Another section. And then we have come down to the ear part and as you guys saw in the back I didn't really do uh, these pieces uh, around my ear but now I do I take the bleach all the way down and I also put a little bit here just to make sure that, that is 
coated and then the very last we're gonna do the pieces around the uh, front of my face and the back so there we have that then we're gonna do this part again just gonna make sure that I do the back here first my blush we do the absolute back here and this will develop really quickly because my neck is very warm there we go and then quickly we're gonna do everything around my face and this is like the most important step <laughs> because sometimes I know it's hard to imagine but sometimes I miss this I just kind of forget about it so I'm just gonna I usually hold down the hair like this so not a lot of like flyaways gets caught in the bleach now I just go through it a little bit just to see there's anywhere I would just want a little bit more bleach um, use a mirror just to check the back um, for any oopsies the last thing I do before I actually wash it out is that like five minutes before I wash it out or so I go through and just massage it uh, upwards a little bit take the hair and like massage it upwards because as you guys saw I did have some uh, banding right here from the last time I bleached my hair and I just want to get rid of that a little bit and uh, that's what you get when you're not as uh, accurate when doing this because that's things that I can uh, count on so as you guys can see my hair is already getting really really light so i'm probably only going to have it on for like five ten minutes or so uh, i'm just going to start like rubbing it upwards a little bit already uh, and then i'm gonna wash it out with shampoo and conditioner like normal and i might go in with a little bit of the Fanola. Uh, no jello shampoo this is a uh, really great as well but a lot of the times I don't really need to because this bleach is purple tone and just won't make my hair as um, yellow as some other bleaches but yeah that is it for the bleaching part uh, we will see each other when I wash this out and there we have the hair looking perfect am I right just look at these roots in my opinion, perfect for not being a professional and doing it yourself at home. Gorgeous. I could probably go in with a purple shampoo one more time next time I'm uh, washing my hair. But other than that, it's looking so good. My hair is just looking so perfect and fresh right now with the roots. So it's gonna take a lot to die over this but i made up my mind i need to get rid of the blonde because if not i would just get stuck here <laughs> and you guys know how much i love to 
dye my hair. So if you want to see my new hair, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys have gotten some sort of recommendations, maybe to work fast, use a lower developer, a uh, volume developer than you might think. I would really recommend a scalp serum. I haven't said really, but um, always when I bleach my roots, I always go in with the, the Body Shop Ginger Sculp Serum. I do this, like, I don't know, once a week. Just even more important when you have bleached your scalp because your scalp needs a little bit of love. And then I've used these two, three products. These are three of my favorites, or at least this is a new favorite, but these two. If you don't have these, you need these in your life. The Coco and Eve Miracle Elixir is like all in one, heat protectant, oil, moisture, first control, all of that, shine. Uh, and then the Color Wow Dream Coach. Don't really know what it does, but damn, it makes such a huge difference on your hair and it's uh, glossiness, if that makes sense. Just look at that. <gasps> My hair is not this glossy without this product. Like, I'm just, I'm just telling you. And uh, literally everyone that I've ever talked with that has tried this product has like, said the same thing. So if you don't trust me, trust everyone else. <laughs> Have a great day and hopefully we will see each other in the next video. Bye guys.